Hello, I'm Dr. Hamilton. I'm an interventional pain specialist. I'd like to talk to you about intrathecal pain pumps. Intrathecal pain pumps are used in interventional pain medicine in people who have severe and unrelenting pain that haven't responded to more conservative therapy, such as surgery or spinal cord stimulators or radiofrequency ablation, those kinds of things. And they're also used in uh, patients, and they're mostly used in patients who need a high amount of pain medicine. And we've all heard about the opioid crisis. The opioid crisis is a real uh, problem within the United States. And so when we have patients who have so much wrong with their spines that they need a large amount of pain medicines, then an intrathecal pain pump is really a, a good option for them. An intrathecal pain pump is a device that is implanted in a person, and there's a small catheter that'll go along this patient's spinal cord, and the catheter is attached to a pump that's implanted underneath your skin. In that pump usually are two medicines, a numbing medicine and a pain medicine. And those medicines are dripped slowly along the patient's spinal cord 24-7 as opposed to taking or swallowing pills or using uh, patches. This is an intrathecal pain pump. You can see here that the uh, pain pump is lies along next to the spinal column. And there's a little catheter that comes out of the bottom of the pain pump and goes into your spinal column and drips along the spinal cord to help relieve pain. We fill this device with medicine. It uses a small, what's called a non-coring needle, and we can feel this little port, this little opening through a person's skin, and we'll just infiltrate a pain medicine and the numbing medicine about every 60 to 90 days. So it also reduces the number of trips that a person will need to make to their doctor's office to refill their oral medications or their pain patches. This video is showing the Flowonix pump avoids problems that other pumps have had in the past. There's been fibrosis or scarring around the tips of the catheter, and that's interfered with the uh, medicine delivery system in pain pumps in the past, but the way that the Flowonix pump works and the one that I uh, implant helps avoid that kind of problem, the problem of fibrosis or scar formation along the uh, tip of the, of the catheter. I recommend intrathecal pain pumps in people who are having severe and unrelenting spinal pain, leg pain, in people who have a higher need for pain medicines because of the intensity and severity that they're suffering from. I've seen in my practice and in my colleagues' practice that intrathecal pain pumps have really changed people's lives. And if you or a loved one or friend is suffering from severe spinal pain and having to take larger amounts of pain medicines than necessary, then I would strongly recommend considering an intrathecal pain pump. I'd be glad to visit with you about that by calling a number close to your local hospital.